Okay, Hare Krishna, my dear children. Welcome to yet another class where we discuss what is the secret of Bhagavad Gita and what is the secret that Krishna narrated to Arjuna 5,000 years ago. Is it relevant in today's life? And if it is, then what is the relevance, right? So we are going to cover mm -hmm. the locus of Bhagavad Gita, right, children? 108 main shlokas of Bhagavad Gita. Otherwise, there are 700 shlokas, but we are going to cover 108 main shlokas, out of which we have covered a few. That's all right. If you all have missed it, you can look at the recordings on Yiskon YouTube Whitefield uh, channel. But uh, now today, as always, we'll start our class with prayers, with pranam mantras. Okay, so I would request Deepika, one second. Let me share the screen for all of you. Uh, I request Deepika to start, read the shloka and the translation and then please um, unmute yourselves and read in the order that we just discussed. Okay, Deepika, please start. I was born in the darkest ignorance. And my spiritual master opened my eyes with the thoughts of knowledge. I offer my respectful obeisance unto him. Wonderful. Next. Shri Chaitanya Manubhishtam Sapitam Yena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Kadamayam Dadati Swapadantikam When when will Srila Rupa Goswami Prabhupada, who has established within this material world the mission to fulfill the desire of Lord Chaitanya, give me shelter under his lotus feet? Next. Omkar, would you say? Okay. Uh, Kiara, will it be possible for you to say? Recite? Yes, I'll try. Mataji, can I say that you called my okay. Kiara? Uh, yes, Omkar? Mataji, I can say this. Okay. I, I can do the next one also. Okay, okay. So, uh, Kiara, let Omkar do this. This is a longish one. You can do the next one. It's really nice. Okay, okay. Mataji. Thank you. Omkar, please go ahead. Mataji, like, should I say it in one place? Or should I do it? Yes. After this translation, also you read. Start. One day, I'm sleeping. 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 Slirupam Sagajatam Sanaragna Thantam Kamsajivam Sadvaitam Avadutam Parijana Saitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Sri Radha Krishna Pada Sagana Lita Sri Vasakhani Can you see? I offer my respectful obeisances unto the lotus feet of my spiritual master and unto the feet of all way. I offer my respectful obeisances unto the lotus feet of Sri Rupa Goswami along with his elder brother Sanatana Goswami, as well as Raghunath Das Goswami and Raghunath Goswami, Gopal Goswami and Sri Jeeva Goswami. I offer my respectful obeisances to Lord Krishna Chaitanya and Lord Nityananda along with Advaita Acharya, Gadadara, Sivasa and other associates. I offer my respectful obeisances on to Sri Mati Radharani and Sri Krishna along with their associates Sri Lalita and Vishak. Wonderful. Okay, Kiara. Okay. Hey Krishna Karunya Sindhu Dinya Bandhu Jagat Pate Gopisa Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namo Sute. Read the Oh, my dear Krishna, you are the friend of distressed and source of creation. You are the master of the gopis and the lover of Radharani. I offer my respectful obeisance to you. Wonderful. Next, Anandita. The Kancha Gorangi, Rathi Brinda Vaneshwari, Prashabanu Suti Devi, Pranami, Hari Priye. 
I offer my respects to Radha Rani, whose bodily complexion is like molten gold, and who is the queen of Vrindavan. You are the daughter of King Rishabhanu, and you are very dear to Lord Krishna. Full. Next, uh, Akshaya. Vanchakal, Vanchakal pa. Tarubhyas cha kripa sindhu besha ap kapita kapita pava patita nam patita nam kavaneshu vaishnaveshu bhavaneshu vaishnaveshu namo namaha i offer my respect obeisance obeisance unto unto all the vaishnavas devotees of the lord they can fulfill the deserve of everyone just like deserve tree and the, and they, desire tree and they are full full campaigns of fallen compassion soul. they are full of compassion of the fallen souls thank you mata ji can i read one second who is that ma'am dhuria okay dhuria read श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंदा श्री अद्वैत गधाधर श्रीवासादी गौर भक्त वृंदा आई ऑफर माय ओबेसेंसेस टू श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंदा श्री अद्वैत गधाधर श्रीवासा एंड ऑल अदर्स इन द लाइन ऑफ डिवोशन अमेजिंग हरि बोल थैंक यू वेरी मच चिल्ड्रन फॉर दिस वंडरफुल नरेशन नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर माय स्क्रीन फॉर द सेकंड वी आर गोइंग टू रीड from 2.20 i'll share my screen so that all those who you know uh, don't have the bhagavad gita can uh, read from the screen and children please be attentive i can ask any one of you to read okay can you see my screen children yeah yes mata ji yes mata ji we can see yes mata ji so now um yes, i want Yes. Now I want somebody to read from read the shloka first. Now all those who haven't gotten a chance will read. Okay, Aditya, can you read the shloka, please? Yes, Mata Ji. Then Namish, can you read the translation, please? Namish Raj. Yes, Mata Ji. Okay, wonderful. Are you have you joined for the first time, Namish? Yes, Mata Ji. Okay, so we are doing these hundred and eight main shlokas of Bhagavad Gita. Okay, Namish. Right. Okay. Let's say a big Hari Bol and welcome Namish. Hari Bol. Okay, many of you I think have joined for the first time. So Hari Bol. Welcome... Yes. So let us welcome all of them. So let us welcome all the newcomers by chanting Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Ram Ram, Ram Ram. Wonderful. Welcome all newcomers. Okay. So. start aditya please start yes na jayate mriyate va kadachin nayam bhutva ajonetya sasvato yam purano na hanyate hanyamane sharire wonderful very nice recitation wonderful so let's add some sweetness just like aditya did he read with a particular tune so one day children we will have only recitation of shlokas chapter 1 okay one day we'll only do that okay namish can you see the translation on the screen yes mata ji please read for the soul there is neither birth nor death at any time he has not come into being does not come into being and will not come into being he is unborn eternal ever existing and primal world he he is not slain when the body is slain now purport gnana ditya can you read the purport please until this mark until this blue mark yeah yeah mata ji Quali uh, qualitatively the small atomic fragmental part of the supreme spirit is one with the supreme he undergoes no changes like the body sometimes the soul is called the steady or kutastha the body is subject to six kinds of transformations it takes its birth from the uh, womb of the mother's body uh, remains for some time grows produces some effects gradually dwindles 
and at last vanishes into oblivion. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Sai Srivastha, can you read ahead? Sai Srivastha, can you unmute yourself and read ahead of this? Uh, uh, Mataji, he is uh, seven years old, Mataji. Just oh, okay, like, okay. Because uh, everybody... Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, you are you are his uh, mother or somebody? Yeah. Yes, Mataji. Okay, okay, no problem, no problem. Yeah, okay, Avant uh, no problem. Avantika, can you read better? Yes, ma'am. Yes, read. The soul, however, does not go through such changes. The soul is not born, but because he takes on a material body, the body takes its birth. The soul does, does not take birth there, and the soul does not die. Anything which has birth has death. And because the soul has no birth, therefore has no past, present, or future. He is internal. Evil eternal, eternal, evil existing and primeval. That is, there is no trace in history of his coming into being. Under the impression of the body, we seek history of birth, etc. Of the soul. Of the soul. Thank you. Thank you, Avantika. So children, now this is, let me tell you, this is a conversation between Arjuna and Krishna. So Arjuna, you know, in the first chapter until, you know, he just sits down on his chariot, you know, in 1.21 shloka in uh, Bhagavad Gita, in the first chapter, Arjuna is really, really excited and he's really proud. And he says, Krishna, Krishna is Arjuna's chariot. He says, Krishna, take my ratha in between the two armies. Say na yor bhayor mati. Sometimes, like how we are also overconfident. Oh, this is just a 10 marks paper. No, oh, I know everything. I know everything. So Arjuna was so, so overconfident. Take the Ratha between the two armies, Krishna. I want to see who are the, who are, who all want to fight with us, Pandavas, and who are on the side of this Dushtra Duryodhana. So Krishna says, okay, beta, man. Chalta hu. So he takes the Ratha in front. So he takes the Ratha in between the Two armies and see Pashetam Krishna says. So Pashetam, see, you wanted to see, right, Arjuna? So see, here there is Bhishma Pitama, there is Drona, there are your cousins, and there are your uh, maternal um, uncles, etc. See, all your family is there. So this way, Krishna puts this uh, feeling of love and attachment and, att and, and affection for his own family members. Krishna is playing a trick here, children. Krishna is trying to confuse Arjuna. And Arjuna, the moment he sees, oh, my grandfather, my great-grandfather, oh, my teacher, oh, my cousins, how can I kill them? And he gives so many reasons that, no, 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 I cannot fight. I cannot fight because they are my um, family people. Sin will overcome us and, you know, we will get lots of papa and this and that. He gives so many reasons. And then Krishna starts to explain to Arjuna about the soul, right? In fact, in the 11th chapter, Krishna will tell Arjuna, see Arjuna, this is my Virat Rupa. See how all everybody's entering my mouth and they, they are just being burnt up by my energies. And only and only you Pandavas will survive. This is what Krishna is going to tell them in the 11th chapter, right? But here, actually, Krishna starts to tell Arjuna that whoever you kill are already being killed by me. That is in the 11th chapter. But here, Krishna is telling Arjuna that, see, he's telling the difference between the soul and the body. What you will kill is not the soul because soul cannot be killed. Okay? So let's read for ahead and we'll discuss. It's a wonderful uh, chapter. Okay. Anandita. Anandita got a chance. Gagana. Gagana, start reading. Yes, Mataji. The soul does not, uh, the soul does not at any time become old 
as the body does. The so-called old man therefore feels to be in the same spirit as in his childhood or youth. The changes of of the body do not affect the soul. The soul does not deteriorate, de de deteriorate like a tree, nor anything material. The soul has no byproduct either. The byproducts of products of the human, namely children, are also different individual souls. And owing to the body, they appear as children of a particular man. The body develops because of the soul's presence, but the soul has neither offshoots nor change. Therefore, the soul is free from the six changes of the body. Okay, wonderful. Now, who can recite the shloka? Can Khushi try? Khushi, can you try? Or Inakshi can try? Khushi, can you try? Who has raised their hands? Okay. All those who have gotten a chance. Okay, you now, Om, Om and Shiv, can you try? Om, can you try reading the shloka, Vita? Najayate Mriyate Vavipaschin. Wonderful. Hmm. Om. Om is reciting, right? Yes, Madhuji. Wonderful. Start. Najayate Mriyate Vavipaschin. Nayam Kutaschin Na. Na Babu. Babuva Kaschit. Wonderful. Shiv, read the trunk. Read the trunk. Read from here. The meaning and the pulpur and pulpit of this verse is the same as in Bhagavad Gita. But here in this verse, there is one special word, vipashit, which means learn or with knowledge. The soul is full of knowledge or full or full always with consciousness. Therefore, consciousness is the symptom of soul, even if one does not find the soul within the heart. But when he is situated, situated, one can still understand the presence of the of the soul symptom. Simply by presence of consciousness. Sometimes we do not find, find the sun in the sky owing to clouds or for some other reason. But the light of sun is always there and we are convinced that it is therefore daytime. As soon as, as there is a little light in the sky, early in the morning, we can understand that the sun, in the, sun is in the sky. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Niyati. Niyati, can you read further? Yes, Mataji. Similarly, since similarly, since there is some consciousness in all bodies, whether man or animal, we can understand the presence of the soul. The, this consciousness of the soul is, however, different from the consciousness of the Supreme, because the Supreme Consciousness is all knowledge, past, present and future. The consciousness of the individual soul is prone to be forgetful. When he is forgetful of his real nature, he obtains education and enlightenment from the superior lessons of Krishna. But Krishna is not like the forgetful soul. If so, Krishna's teaching of Bhagavad Gita would be useless. Wonderful. Okay. Now let's let's see how many types of souls there are. Huh? We know about the soul that is present in us. But what what are the two what are the two types of souls, right? So okay, BTS Army. Can anyone uh, say who is this? BTS Army? What is their name? I can't see their name. Uh, would you like to read this? There are two kinds of souls. Hare Krishna Mataji. Hare Krishna, what's your name? Ma'am, uh, Mataji Vrinda. Okay, Vrinda. Okay, Vrinda, read. Hmm. There are two kinds of souls, namely the minute particle soul, right. Anu Atma, and the super soul, Vibhu Atma. This Very is... important point, children. Anu Atma and Vibhu Atma. The soul in our body is the 
anu atma that means we are part and parcel of who the vibhu atma which is the super soul supreme soul krishna we are all parts and parcels of krishna so we are anu means small krishna is vibhu okay let's go this is also confirmed in the katha upi upanishad in this way read the shloka right अनोर अन्यन महतो महियन आत्मस्य जन्तो निहितो गुहायम तम अक्रतो पश्यति विद्या सोको धतु प्रसादम महिमानम अत्मना very good wonderful uh, okay पलक पलक do you want to read forward moving forward पलक can you read Yes, Pala. Unmute yourself and read from here. Both the super soul, Paramatma, and atomic soul, Atma, are situated on the same. Three of the body within the same heart of the living being, and only one who has become free from all material desires, as well as lamentation, can can by the grace of supreme and. Understand the glories of the soul. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you. Uh, who else has not gotten a chance? They can unmute themselves. Mata ji. Yes. Can I read? Who? What's your name? Dhuria. Dhuria, you got a chance. No matter. Even Kushi. Even Kushi didn't got that. Okay, Kushi. Yes, Kushi. Come on, read Kushi. These two lines. Uh, Krishna is the fountain head of the super super soul. Also, as it will be disclosed in the following chapters, and Arjun is the atom atomic atomic soul, forgetful of. his real nature therefore he requires to be en enlightened enlightened by krishna or by his bona fide representative represented the spiritual master wonderful hari krishna thank you for reading so who is speaking this krishna children see krishna is telling arjuna arjuna understand what what he saying so krishna is trying to convince arjuna isn't it he saying krishna arjuna understand na jayate na mriyate means na jayate means for the soul jayate means there's no birth and mriyate there is no death for one who is born will die but for the soul there is no birth so there is no death right va kadachin at any time in past present or future nayam bhutva bhavitavan bhuyah that means and there never be any uh, past present or future for, there is no past present or future for the soul ajo nityah shashvato ajo what does the word <clears throat> ajo means unborn right nitya means eternal and shashvato means etern uh, uh, again permanent so the soul is unborn see there are three qualities of the soul what is krishna telling arjuna arjuna suno suno ye three qualities soul ki hai tum jisse keh rahe ho ki nahi marna hai that you are saying that oh i can't kill my uh, relatives they only you are killing their bodies but uh, the, the soul is never killed why because the soul is ajo means it is unborn nitya means eternal shashvato means permanent yam purano yam purano means purano means purana hai soul oldest of the oldest okay na 
na hanyate na hanyate means it cannot be killed na hanyate hanyamane sharire it cannot be killed like the body can be killed the soul cannot be killed na hanyate the body is hanyamane sharire means we can kill the body but you can never kill the soul na hanyate okay is it clear children because krishna yes wonderful okay so uh, let us go to the next shloka and these two shlokas will cover and then i will show you a wonderful ppt uh, so we are covering 2.20 and 2.22 but now this arjuna is his head is stuck somewhere now you know sometimes when our parents tell us so many things we don't understand chai whatever they tell us though we don't understand so they give, keep on giving us reasons reasons and reasons and sometimes we understand so here arjuna has become like a small baby and he's he's stuck there he says but we don't want to be the reason of killing my relatives and leaving their body so arjuna is saying but i don't want to be the reason to kill them and for the soul to leave their body let someone else do it right so he's saying that because he's so attached to his family members of course everyone is attached to family members we are attached to our parents cousins everyone but here this is a war of dharma right because these pan these kauravas they cheated pandavas so but arjuna is so blindfolded spiritually also right now otherwise arjuna is a very very good devotee but do you know children why arjuna is confused now because krishna actually made purposefully he confused arjuna he put that bewilderment that confusion in arjuna's mind so that we could hear the bhagavad gita right so radha partha sarthi ki jay krishna so merciful he uses his devotees in this way so that the general public can know about bhagavad gita so let's read this okay now um omkar can you read the shloka please ओनली बॉडीक्षी first paragraph enakshi roy children be quick so that we don't waste time enakshi one second who am i am i tell okay okay who hasn't gotten a chance anyone who has not gotten have you gotten a chance mataji no, i chip. haven't got a chance mataji who's that मॉडर्न साइंटिस्ट हुए but at the same time cannot explain the source of energy from the heart have to accept con continuous changes of body which appear from childhood to boyhood and from boyhood to youth and again from youth to old from old age the change is transferred to another body this has already been explained in the previous verse 4.8 thank you very much Thank you. Two point one three. Who can quickly tell me what is the two point one three shloka? Come on, children, tell me. Who can tell me quickly? We did uh, it last time. Yes, tell me. Yeah. Um, sure. Mataji. Yes, yes. Omka, go ahead. Uh, dehi no smenyata dehi kaumaram yavanam jara 
ತೇಹಂತರಾ ಪ್ರಾಪ್ತಿರ್ಧೀರಸ್ತ್ರ ಮುಹ್ಯತಿ ವಂಡರ್ಫುಲ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಲೇಷನ್ ಕೆನ್ ಡು ಯು ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ನೋ ಮಾತಾಜಿ ಓಕೆ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ನೈಸ್ ಸೊ ಆಸ್ ದ ಸೋಲ್ ಚೇಂಜಸ್ ಆಸ್ ದ ಸೋಲ್ ಗೋಸ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಮೆನಿ ಸ್ಟೇಜಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಬಾಯ್ ಹೆಡ್ ಟು ಅಡಲ್ಟ್ ಹುಡ್ ಟು ಓಲ್ಡ್ ಏಜ್ ಟು ಟು ಓಲ್ಡ್ ಏಜ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವೈ ಅಟ್ ದ ಎಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೈಫ್ ದ ಸೋಲ್ ಲೀವ್ಸ್ ದ ಬಾಡಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಗೋಸ್ ಟು ಅನಾದರ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಅ ಸೋಬರ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಡಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಬಿಲ್ಡರ್ಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಸಚ್ ಅ ಚೇಂಜ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಟು ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಒನ್ ತ್ರೀ ವಂಡರ್ಫುಲ್ ಓಕೆ ಹೂ ಎಲ್ಸ್ ಐ ಐ ಸಿ ಓಕೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಗೋ ಹೆಡ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ದಟ್ Deepika yes Deepika go ahead anyone else who hasn't gotten a chance before Deepika reads Mataji I did not got who is that what's her name Akshit okay Akshit please go ahead transference of the atomic individual soul to another body is made possibly by the grace of the super soul the super soul fulfills the desire of the atomic soul as one friend fulfills the desire of another the vedas like the mundaka upanishad as well as the swetasva tara upanishad compared the soul and super soul to two friendly birds sitting on the same tree one of the birds the individual atomic soul is eating the fruit of the tree and the other bird krishna is simply watching his friend of these two birds although they are same in quality one is captivated by the fruits of the material tree while the other is simply witnessing the act of his friend <coughs> wonderful i'm going to explain this one uh, uh, tree and two birds is a very very important analogy that propad has given us these are the two types of soul present in us one is the jivatma which is us and one is the vibhu atma or paramatma which is also inside us inside all the living entities whether they are moving or non moving even trees have parmatma children okay so this is this, this is the analogy means comparison the example which is given that on a tree there are two birds one bird is eating the fruits of the trees okay sometimes the fruits have turned very dirty so he is distressed to eat them then sometimes the fruits are nice and fresh so he is happy to eat them so he is actually eating the good fruits and bad fruits right and this other bird who looks same similar to the uh, uh, this to this bird who is eating the soul eating the sorry the fruits and this bird is only watching so that is the parmatma so whatever actions we do children remember that even if you are in a closed room you feel that your parents don't know what you are doing but actually this parmatma inside you is watching each and every act that you do parmatma is watching i am watching you parmatma says right and it is very very important that you should not not resort to anything which is wrong because you feel that nobody is watching you no parmatma is watching you and then bad deeds will bring only bad bad results okay so be very very careful children okay next who wants to read anyone who hasn't yes, gotten a chance mataji <coughs> can i read mataji can i read was that kiara ma'am but i got a chance so you got a chance anyone else who hasn't gotten a chance then we can go to the others okay I then we'll start with what is your name deepika ah, deepika fine after deepika kiara can read okay deepika start krishna is the witnessing bird and arjuna is the eating bird Although they are friends, one is still the master and the other is the servant. Forgetfulness of this relationship by the atomic soul is the cause of one changing his position yes. from one tree to another or from one body to another. The jiva soul is struggling very hard on the tree of the material body. but as soon as he agrees to accept the other bird as a supreme spiritual master as arjuna agreed to do by voluntary surrender unto krishna for instruction the subordinate bird immediately becomes free from all lamination 
lamentations lamentations means dukha so children see what does this mean now what is the way to and all of us are struggling now you as children feel that the parents don't understand you right or you sometimes feel that you know your teacher doesn't understand you or your uh, elder brother or sister doesn't understand you but you are right right so we are always struggling in this material world right in some or the other way we are distressed we are not always happy but krishna says how you can be happy just like this arjuna who was arguing 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 according to his own intelligence that oh krishna no how can i kill them there will be sin on us or the, the family tradition will be destroyed this that he was giving many reasons but krishna made him understand that see this is the, all these are souls these are jeevatmas and the soul has no birth no death right in the previous shloka we just learned so kill them because they are adharmis they have broken the broken the rule of uh, dharma and i am telling you to kill them why because i am the father of dharma which he shows to arjuna in the uh, next uh, few chapters like in the 11th chapter and he shows his universal form and then arjuna is you know after this chapter only arjuna is you know kind of uh, he's listening to krishna and because he's sitting like this with his holding his head so Uh, then later on arjuna says karishye vachanam tava okay krishna i will do as you say right so now this these two birds who are sitting on the tree one is very uh, engrossed in eating the fruits as we said and krishna is the guiding force here for all of us krishna is the guiding force now how do we listen to the parmatma by reading the bhagavad gita or attending such classes it will be very clear by the time you grow up nothing can disturb you children nothing can disturb you okay you will be so stable and you will be such strong devotees of krishna that you will be able to achieve whatever you want materially and spiritually materially also it's important some of you have uh, aspirations to become a doctor iit an engineer astronaut this that so everything you will be able to do why because you have a stable mind okay because you know what is the truth okay so we'll go for question answers okay uh, aditya can you read this shloka and the translation please yes mataji yeah. samane vrikshe purusho nimagno nishaya sochati muhya manah dushtam yada pasyate anyam isham asya mahimanam iti vitasokah although the two birds are in the same tree the eating bird is fully engrossed with anxiety and moroseness as the enjoyer of the fruits of the tree but if in some way or other he turns his face to his friend the lord and knows his glories at once the suffering bird becomes free from all anxieties wonderful what a wonderful shloka children see we don't know about this parmatma inside but somehow we are only engrossed in enjoying our lives and sometimes we are sad and sometimes we are happy but by chance if a hari krishna devotee comes to you on your door no hari krishna do you want a bhagavad gita this is the gita jayanti month right we are distributing bhagavad gita so um, i think gnana uh, ditya and gagana have been doing it right isn't it yes mata ji in our uh, um like in our uh, what do we say that in our uh, uh, mata ji in our community uh, me my sister and another iskon devotee actually he is uh, we made him join uh, abi okay, you remember okay. mata ji in the spiritual spark he will be coming no problem wonderful so you children are doing abi well. round we, we sold around 18 houses around 18 houses and uh, one house took four books people all abhi gari work for all of you but now don't go out because this of this omicron Corona. this has come very yeah, yes so please yeah, so omicron my uh, mother told uh, i we completed all completed almost all yeah and yeah, the community yeah so completed almost all some some classes are there still that okay wonderful so now children these two birds now somehow if this soul inside us looks at parmatma when he knows that why he is why he is suffering why he feels sad have you asked yourself sometimes why do you feel sad 
hmm? children resort to wrong things these days watching youtube for such a long time because they are sad oh why are you sitting alone in the room oh i'm sad oh why are you sad because my mother scolded me are you mother scolded you there has to be a reason if today your parents don't scold you and don't tell you about your mistakes tomorrow it is better you cry today when your mother scolds rather than crying the rest of your lives right children so take your scoldings of the mother and father very very positively okay okay children although i also used to feel bad when i was a child yes children i will not lie but try to understand your parents okay after all your parents can be your best friends you know they can be friends other friends you can tell your secrets to them but something that you really feel that yes i should discuss with my mother and father you should okay okay so next uh, who can uh, who can read gnanaditya read the read the next mata ji can i read after this yeah gnanaditya read are you there if you're not there uh, gagana you can read mm -hmm. gagana start Mata ji, could you say from where? Because I have a mistake. Arjuna like... has now turned. Arjuna has now turned his face. Yeah, Mata ji. Arjuna has now turned his face towards his eternal friend Krishna and is understanding the Bhagavad Gita from him. And thus, hearing from Krishna, he can understand the supreme glories of the Lord and to be free from lament, lament, lamentation. Arjuna is. advised herewith here uh, herewith by the lord not to lament for the bodily change change of his old grandfather and his teacher he should rather be happy to kill their bodies in in the righteous fight so that they may be cleansed at, at once of the reactions from various bodily activities Wonderful. Okay, Kiara, read read the last line, please, Kiara. Okay, one who lays down his life on a sacrificial altar or in a proper battlefield is at once cleansed of body bodily reactions and promote promoted to a higher status of life. So there was no cause of Arjuna's lamentation. Wonderful. So now, children, I am going to show you a small PPT that I've prepared. Okay. Now we will go back to this, um, and we will just summarize the entire, uh, uh, you know, entire two shlokas very quickly so that you remember. Okay. We finished here. We finished this. Can you see my screen, children? Can you see my screen? Yes, Mata Ji. Yes, Mata Ji. Okay. So uh, let me put it on this note. So, see. First of all, na jayate mriyate va kadachin. So Krishna says the soul cannot be the soul has neither birth nor death at and at any at any time, and he cannot come into being, and he does not come into being, and he will not come into being. That means future, past, and present, you know, of the soul is not there because he is unborn. He is always existing. He is always eternal. Okay, and um, also this shloka. What is the next shloka says? means what does it mean as a person puts on new garments giving up old garments sometimes we dispose of our old clothes also to charity and to you know to orphanage this that do we feel sad no because they are old right that is why similarly the soul also accepts new bodies right because the soul does not get old but the body gets old and because this material body when we are old it becomes useless right so what is the use of the soul being there right so that is what arjuna is telling krishna uh, sorry krishna is telling arjuna arjuna fight this they are al already going to die they have they will die anyways if you don't kill you uh, someone else will kill but i want you to kill them so that you get all the fame and all the glory right because you are my devotee right see this is a beautiful picture of how that uh, the soul in the mother's womb is there and then the soul passes through boyhood see how it's coming out from the mother's womb it's like a small baby and grows up and it goes through six kind of changes right boyhood and what are the six kind of changes that uh, we just discussed the six kind of uh, changes are that it takes birth from the mother's womb it remains there for some time it grows 
produces some effects, right? Like it grows into youth, right? Then it gradually, uh, it produces some, and then it also produces young ones, like children are born, and then gradually dwindles and at last vanishes, right? This is the body. But the soul does not undergo these changes, right? The fact is that the soul has no past, present and future. Soul always existed. You cannot say, if somebody asks you, how old are you? What will you say? <laughs> you are not this body. You are this soul. Infinity plus 12, infinity plus 16. Will you say that? Right, children? So the soul is ageless. Okay? How, how old are you? It's a very obsolete question. But yes, we ask for our, you know, record purposes, this, that. We ask. These questions are asked. Now, these are some differences, children, between the body and the soul. What is the difference? Body is subject to six kind of transformations we just discussed, but the soul does not go through these changes. Body takes birth, soul is unborn. The body has past, present and future. Like in the past, you were a small child. Now you're a grown-up individual. In the future, you'll become old. The soul is eternal, right? One can see the body with the eyes, but soul cannot be seen by the mundane eyes, but the soul is seen through the presence of consciousness. For example, when somebody dies in the house, right? The body is there. But he, what do we say? He has passed away. Are, who has passed away? The body is there. The person is lying there. Who has passed away? The soul has left the body. So clearly, the body is not the soul. For example, when the sky is cloudy, right? It hides the sun. But we know that the sun is present because it is bright. From the brightness, we know that the sun is present. Similarly, the soul is present in the heart, right? But it cannot be seen and the scientists cannot make out where is the soul, right? They cannot see because soul is so small. How small is the soul? When you take the tip of a uh, hair and you divide it into 10,000 parts, the tip of the hair, only the tip of the hair into 10,000 parts, that one part of that is the size of the soul. There is no equipment whatsoever in science which can uh, see the soul. It is so, so minute, but we can see the uh, presence of the soul through consciousness. If you pinch a dead body, if you say, oh, how nice you look, will the dead body respond? No, because there is no consciousness. Why? Because the soul has left it, right? That is the difference. What are the similarities between the soul and the super soul? Qualitatively, we are all the same, right? Uh, but quantitatively, we are different with the Paramatma because we are part and parcel of Krishna. Example, right? Uh, a gold mine. Suppose we wear these bangles and earrings, right? Now, these are all ornaments. But where is this gold come from? The bigger gold mine. That gold mine is Krishna and all these in ornaments are the soul. This, the small Vibhu soul, right? So the whole is Krishna and when the part and parcels are us, the souls. Qualification to know the super soul, how will you know that Paramatma is there? One has to become free from material contamination. How? How one can become free from material contamination? Do not be greedy, children. Aspire for the best. Aspire to become the best, but be satisfied with whatever result Krishna gives you. Right? Don't go out of your way in the sense to cheat others, to uh, become distressed and resort to so many wrong things, right? Free from material, material contamination. And also, we need the mercy of Krishna and Guru to know Krishna. And that's why we say the prayers. It does not work when we just talk to Krishna. Oh, Krishna, give me this. Oh, Krishna, do this. No. For example, we have to dial a correct phone number to talk to the correct person. So to talk to Krishna, the correct phone number is Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Ram, Hare Ram. This is the second, uh, 22nd uh, shloka of the second chapter as the person. Taji, can I read this? Okay, read it, read it. Yes. Vasam si Jairani Yatavahaya Navani Granati, Naro, Parani, Tatha Shari Rani, Tatha Sari 
me. See, one second. This, this dash on A that you see, that is A. So you say tatha. And that apostrophe uh, comma on S, that is sh, not so. So that is tatha sharirani. So read it that way. Sharirani. Hmm. Vihaya jirnani. Viha yana jirani. Hmm. Anyani samyati. Anyam anyatni samyati. Navani dehi. Navahi, Navani Devi. Beautiful. Thank you. So as a person puts on new garments, giving up old ones, the soul similarly accepts new material bodies, giving up the old and useless ones. Krishna is telling Arjuna this. So fight Arjuna. is saying, see, this is the story of two birds. Two birds are sitting. We just discussed. One bird is eating the fruit. The other bird is simply observing. So who is this bird? Who is eating the fruits? It is us, the soul. And Krishna as Paramatma, in his Paramatma feature, is observing us, right? He's only witnessing this. He has nothing to do in, in this. But by mistake, if we look towards Krishna, if this bird looks towards Krishna, then he will understand what is the purpose of our life. Is to understand Krishna and follow Bhagavad Gita. Okay? What is the way to come out of the cycle of birth and death? To revive our relationship with Krishna. Krishna, we are here not only to enjoy this material life, to, you know, produce children, eating, sleeping, mating and defending, but we are here to revive our relationship with Krishna. For example, we are part and parcels of Krishna. So if we don't serve Krishna, we are like that useless part of the body, which is cut off from the body. For example, as far as the, the thumb is with the body, it can serve the body, it will eat, we will eat with the thumb, it can write about Krishna, we can do, you know, it is serving the body. But as far as the moment it is cut off, right, from the body, it becomes completely useless, right? You, you, a thumb which is cut off from the body, can it function in any way? No, right? So similarly, if we are part and parcels of this Vibhu Atma, Paramatma, Krishna, right, we, if we do not serve Krishna, then we are useless. That is what it means. Okay. So, Hare Krishna. Thank you, children, for this wonderful participation. I would like to tell you a story, quick story. You know, because Arjuna is lamenting, right? Arjuna is completely gone haywire. He's saying, oh, Krishna, I cannot fight. So now see what, uh, uh, I'll just tell you the story. Once there was a man. Uh, once there was a lady who lost his son, who lost her son, children. And uh, this lady was, you know, uh, uh, who lost her only son, right? And she was really crying and crying. And uh, she was saying that uh, she went to Lord Buddha. And she said that, uh, that Lord Buddha, I want my son back. In any case, I want my son back. So uh, Lord Buddha said, okay. I will revive and bring back your son. But the condition is that you go and bring some mustard seeds from a house which has never seen any death. So that lady goes in the village from house to house to house. She goes to one person. He says, oh, no, what is it? What is it? Can I, um, you know, uh, please uh, have some mustard seed? They said, yes, of course you can have some mustard seed. But the condition is that there shouldn't have been any death in your body. Though, so the neighbor said, Oh, no, that's, that's not possible. Some years back, there was a death in our family. So then she goes to hundred houses, hundreds of houses she goes because she was so keen that her son should come back to life. So every house had some or the other death in the family. So she comes back to Lord Buddha and she says, there was no house I could find. So Lord Buddha said, see, there is, it is not possible. Every house has a death and whoever is born has to die. So some die early, some die later, right? So that their lifespan is fixed. So there is no life, though there is no one that, uh, no house that will have no death. So then the lady understood a little and her sorrow became a little lesser, right? Of course, when there is a death in the family, we do get affected children, but we have to come back, right? It will prepare us for our life ahead. Okay, so this is what Krishna is telling Arjuna. Any questions, children, that you have?
just lower your hands once all of you please lower your hands quickly just next 5 minutes we'll take up questions pertaining to these two shlokas yes anybody has any questions any questions pertaining to this or something that you didn't understand oh mataji it was too confusing anything like that tell me mataji can i log out who is that Deepika. Deepika, wait for the class to get over. It's nice uh, etiquette. Mata ji, I have a question. Okay. I had, I have a doubt. Who is that, Deepika? Me, Kiara. Kiara, okay, Kiara. It is related to today's class. Yes, uh, you in the in mostly there was uh, uh, in some of the uh, well translation they were saying that Arjuna was lamenting for no reason and all. So, what yeah. is the meaning of lamenting? lamenting means he was he was unhappy he was dukhi he was acting like a dukhi atma lamenting means he was uh, really sad that he had to kill his uh, family people okay that's the meaning of lamenting okay mataji mataji another question yeah mataji uh, you said no mataji there is no past future pre present for the soul i have a doubt then a maturity in the soul how it comes when we are too small we don't get the proper maturity all come right. from our <laughs> wonderful wonderful question uh, akshaya yes see um, maturity in one uh, human being if you say comes from the mind through the experiences that one goes through right that maturity comes when you are small you uh, don't understand many things but as you grow you see things around you you try to observe things around you you study so many things you read the bhagavad gita right so then your mind thinks about it and that parmatma in your heart helps you so that maturity comes from that wonderful wonderful question Did, is it clear through yes, your experience in life that yes. maturity yes okay. thank you next anyone else has any question Mataji. Yes. Who is that? Sai Shri Vastava. Huh, Sai Shri Vastava, tell me. You have any doubt, Sai Shri Vastava? Yes, Mataji. Ah, ask. Can Krishna kill the soul? No. Krishna, why will he kill the soul? Krishna wants all the souls to come back to him. so that we can again be back with krishna we can go back home back to godhead how by chanting hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare krishna is like a loving father why would a father kill the son or the daughter right so we all belong to krishna we have to go to krishna and golok vrindavan and chant hare krishna okay so we have to all go back and how can we go back one is by chanting one is by reading the bhagavad gita Okay, nice question, Sai Shivasta. Anyone else? Has a... Thank you, Mata Ji. Very cool. Anyone else has a question? Yes, Mata Ji. Yes, tell me, Palak. You have any question, Palak? Yeah. How do? How is the soul formed? How is the soul formed? Burned. Soul is never burned. No. Soul... How is it formed? how is it formed yeah ooh wonderful see soul is is a see how like there is a fire and from the fire automatically the sparks come out right similarly krishna is that fire the super soul and we are part and parcels of krishna we are separated from krishna there is a wonderful you know uh, how garbhodaksha at some time back i had explained this there are three types of vishnu mahavishnu garbhodakshai vishnu and shirodakshai vishnu mahavishnu is also called karanadakshai vishnu so karanadakshai vishnu is lying in the causal ocean in the ocean of his own sweat he is lying like this okay and as he breathes out there are so many universes coming out from his soul from his uh, pores of his body so many innumerable small small holes are there in our skin right the pores and so many universes are coming out now in each of these so uh, this thing uh, universes the second vishnu the garbhodakshai vishnu enters right 
and from this garbodakshay vishnu the from the navel of this garbodakshay vishnu lord brahma appears and lord brahma creates the universe how actually krishna is the creator all everything the raw material krishna gives but brahma ji is um, given this um, work of uh, uh, impregnating the universe means that means is given the work of creation right and in each of the entities the shiro daksha vishnu enters right and that is the parmatma that we see so so the, this parmatma carries with itself itself the soul also so we get the body of a donkey a horse a cat the human being according to uh, our previous karmas right so we are all part and parcel of krishna okay is it clear yes okay. mataji i also had i had a question a doubt ha huh, ha huh. just one more minute one more question we will take yes kiara tell me mataji uh i mostly uh, i heard uh, when in most classes i heard that we uh, we are soul and krishna is a super soul so how does you were uh, saying that one day that krishna is the super soul and we are parts and parcels i i needed to know what super soul super soul is krishna but the expansion of the expansion of the expansion of the expansion is the parmatma which is present in us okay that is the parmatma feature of krishna present in us so that is the part of that parmatma feature the super soul present in us is a part of krishna okay right because krishna makes arrangement krishna is one there sitting in his goloka vrindavan but he has created his expansions you no know, part and parcels we are the soul which are part and parcels of krishna but the expansion is the parmatma which is in us okay understood yes, there is nothing confusing in that ha huh? okay okay thank you children for this wonderful hare class krishna, now let's chant hare krishna hare krishna krishna hare krishna hare krishna hare krishna hare 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 rama